Yeah. Hey, everybody, he's away. Hey, it's Rob Potter. And today we're making something very special and festive. We're starting a new web series. It's called Cooking with Meat Skin. That sounds weird. It does. Sounds, it sounds weird. And we're not really cooking. This is that's, it's not cooking. This is like bake. It's not even baking. It's micro simmering. We're simmering today. We're making eggnog. We're making eggnog. So we have our eggs. I, fun fact. I just found out this year they actually use real eggs in eggnog, hence the name eggnog. I never really thought about it. That's but great. I can sleep tonight. They, 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 we got six eggs in a bowl. We have six eggs. It looks like five meat skin. No. You cannot count. Well, you, you broke one. <laughs> trying to, trying to separate them. Try and do that water bottle separation trick. All right, well, let's get started. What do we got to do? Oh, I broke it. Whisk the egg yolk and sugar together. How much sugar do we have, meat skin? We have half a cup of sugar. All right. So go ahead and whisk, uh, whisk that together until light and creamy. This looks like a great... This looks fantastic. Like an almond, like an egg yolk almond. Ew. Okay. In a saucepan over medium heat, combine the cream, milk, nutmeg, and salt. What's that? What do you think? Is that light and creamy? It's like he's got yeah, it's pretty good. It actually looks. It says over high heat, so I should I should be over on the stove doing this. So turn it on, hot, medium, high heat. And you need milk, you need cream, milk, nutmeg, and salt. Okay. So. And we got two two cups of milk. Is that two cups? Yeah, that's two cups. One cup of cream. Heavy cream. Nutmeg and salt. I'm assuming this is the nutmeg. We got a half a half a teaspoon of half nutmeg. a teaspoon of nutmeg. And uh, my hand is a pinch of salt. All right, start stirring, whisking or stirring. No, no, no. don't use that big. One. Well, we gotta use something. Spoon it in. It says. Because if you read, add a big spoonful of hot milk to the egg mixture, whisking vigorously. Repeat adding a big spoonful at a time to temper the eggs. How do you whisk with this? How do you whisk with that? Yeah, that's a spatula. Shut up. <laughs> All right, what's the next step? We, we should be at number three. Yeah, add a big spoonful of the hot milk to the egg mixture, whisking vigorously. Repeat adding a big spoonful at a time to temper the eggs. So I guess when this is all nice and warm, we'll uh, come back to you. All right, we're back. We got our simmering milk mixture, and I'm still whisking these eggs. Now we're just going to start adding big spoonfuls of that into here. Oh, it's getting runny. Are we gonna cook those egg yolks? Hope not. If we do, we, we gotta eat it. How do we know when to stop? When most of it has been added. So, I don't know what most of it is. I just do this? No, 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 you gotta follow the recipe. Rolfy egg mixture. Are you whisking vigorously? That's more like it. I think that's probably enough. All right, now what? Oh, it is getting a little nice and frothy. One toast of hot milk mixture has been added. Pour the mixture back into the saucepan with stove and whisk constantly for a few minutes until the mixture is just slightly thickened. Run until it reaches about 160 degrees Fahrenheit in the thermometer. Alright. 
And now I just whisk, whisk. Oh. So now what? Oh, it's gonna keep popping up on me. Oh, so you gotta do it that way. Whisk constantly for just a few minutes. Okay, I think it's 160. Once you get that 160, you're gonna remove from the heat and serve in vanilla and alcohol if you're using alcohol. I believe we are not adding alcohol to this. No. Okay. So there's a fun fact with our illegal vanilla. It has alcohol. This yeah. might be pretty easy to make. It's at 165. So it's okay, that's good. Let's remove from heat. Okay. And then I'll put it in this bowl. Okay. Pour the egg ball from, um, Remove from heat. There we go. I'll get a different bowl. bowl. Yeah, get a different bowl. Pour it through that mesh strainer. Guess that mesh strainer is catching the cooked eggs that's in there. Yeah, it smells like eggs. How much vanilla are we adding? A quart teaspoon? Yeah, a quart teaspoon of vanilla. All right. I'll go ahead and add the vanilla extract in this. Where did we get this beast in? We got this on a cruise. We got this in Mexico. Cozumel, Mexico. Cozumel. Right. It's illegal in the United States for some reason. We brought in contraband. We are trafficking banned substances oh, across man, borders. That smells good. That smells really good. That's perfect. Look at that. Ooh. That smells good. Let's go and drink it. You can see the eggnog's really taking shape. It look, kind of looks like eggnog. That's frothy. Now, warm. you're going to cover that with plastic wrap and refrigerate. Okay. Okay, guys. So go ahead. Uh, we'll see you in a bit. Hey, everyone. Meat skin back. Rob, Rob back. We're back. <laughs> Rob Father back. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's been several hours, and our eggnog is ready. And, um, two, three hours? I think so. I'm gonna shake it up, and then that up. That looks delicious, doesn't it? What does it smell like, meat skin? I'm gonna get us, or? Just stare at the <laughs> eggnog. It smells like eggs. It smells like eggs. It just smells like eggs. Smells like eggs. So what what did we do wrong? We made, we made egg dog. <laughs> this is buy it. So she was telling me that most recipes That's really thick. Most recipes you uh don't strain it out. Because when you strain it like we did, you're straining out all the flavor. So yeah, why did we strain it? That's, that's what, the, what the recipe said. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to this at all. It just all. smells like egg. It smells like egg. I, um, if we would have used four eggs instead of six, or maybe even two eggs, or maybe no eggs and just milk and cream, then it would probably be a little better. Any cinnamon in here? Do we have the cinnamon out? The cinnamon in here? Okay. It's not real eggnog. Okay. So. You have you have that. I'll have this. This is uh, vanilla spice eggnog Southern Comfort. So it's, it tastes like whatever. Here we go. Did you put Italian seasoning in there? It's like a... I don't like that. What the heck is that taste? It tastes better than any Mountain Dew we've, ever, we've had. But what is that flavor? There's chunks of cinnamon that haven't... We should have whisked it in with cinnamon. Because the chunks of cinnamon are sticking together. And tastes like someone took Italian seasoning and just dumped it in there. It's it's not too bad, but you get that egg yolk aftertaste. And I like egg yolk, but not... This isn't um, 
Well, oh, it's our Not first good. attempt, guys. So we're gonna try this again. Yeah, different recipe though. Man, like someone just added something in there and it didn't. There's no whisking involved, so that's just weird. It tastes like milk with egg yolk in it and something else. Has too much egg yolk. Yo, well, don't don't copy our recipe, guys. So, whatever. It was fun. It was it was fun, but whatever. Okay. That's All right. Gross. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and let us know uh, if you want to see. Try it and see if you like it. Yeah. Give it a shot. Follow what we did. All right. Bye.